Well, welcome back. We'll get started on our next game here, Warhammer Quest. So, I have no idea about this game at all. It was on sale, so I said, what the heck. Your warriors cannot be permanently killed. Combat is easy. Combat is challenging. Your warriors can be permanently killed. I feel like I should probably do that. I just don't know if they die. I lose it for everything. So it looks like maybe the only difference is whether your warriors permanently get killed or not. Because it says combat is challenging in both areas. Well, let's do adventurer, I guess. Questing in Warhammer World can be very dangerous for any adventure. Event uh, any adventurer without knowledge of the basics, you will surely perish. Would you like to play the tutorial? Well, it sounds like it'd be a good idea from uh, what I'm reading here. Warhammer Quest. You awaken in the depths of a dungeon. Your last memories are of orc battle cries and shouts of your and the shouts of your companions. You must have been knocked out and left for dead. You hear more shouts coming from the gloom of the next corridor. Best go look for your companions before they get themselves killed. Your warrior will not survive this dungeon on his own. You must find the others. Click on your warrior to select him. Click on a position to show the path your warrior will take and then click again to move. Attacked by snotlings, two of them. Attacked by an orc boy, one of them. The green skins are no match for your warrior. Select your warrior and double click on an enemy to perform a basic attack. So that's his. So I've got 37 life, some range, I'm guessing, melee, and armor? And they have three health. Okay. Double click an enemy to perform a melee attack. Your character sheet shows how many attacks you can perform per turn. Once you attack, you can no longer move. Now attack again. Oh, so that's an attack. Okay. Your warrior has no more attacks or moves to take his turn. Deselect your character by clicking the empty space and end your turn. Okay, here's the regular orc. Now finish off these pests. Remember, once you attack, you can no longer move, and you can only attack neighboring units. Excellent, a new weapon. Click add to stash and then click the button in the bottom right corner to access the inventory. Okay. And a maze. So now drag the new weapon from your stash over to your current weapon. Uh, I can't read it because that thing is in the way. Press the back button to get back to your adventure. You can click on the empty space to deselect your warrior. Your warrior has no attacks left. End your turn to replenish your moves and attacks. Continue through the dungeon. Don't f forget ending your turn replenishes your movement. So what was this? 5 to 10, plus 3, 8, 13, but you get a golden modifier, critical hit chance, way low damage, and a shield. Plus 8 max. Hmm. 
Do I have to end turn again? Yeah. Detect by Night Goblin Spearmen. Two of them. You found one of your companions badly wounded, surrounded by enemies. Consumable heavy bandages heals seven to nine wounds. Add the stash. Your warrior has been given bandages. Select your warrior and click on the bandages tab to activate them and double click on the wizard to heal. Okay, here. Now finish off these pests. Remember, once you attack, you can no longer move and you can only attack neighboring units. Okay, so I can't attack on a diagonal, I guess. Oh, I can. Continue through the dungeon. Don't forget about your ending your turn to replenish your movement. Fine dagger. Chance to cause 10 to 13 bonus damage against undead. Okay. So you can't use any of these things. Orc boys. Oh no. Every turn the wizard draws power from the winds of magic, which is used to power spells. Select your wizard now. Your winds of magic display just above your wizard's character sheet and all the spells have a cost. Now press the bottom at the top. Pressing the tab will bring up item spells or other abilities if there are more than one. Select Occam's Mind Razor. Now double click on a target to cast a spell. Doing so oh, Winds of Magic is right here. Well. Let's do that, I guess. I think we'll just kind of keep you back. And you can start attacking these guys. Oh, so you can do things and attack? can miss, huh? You missed twice? That's not great. I hope I didn't just kill you. I wonder if that was a fluke. Let's try to attack again. No, you really do suck at melee. Alright, so I need to focus more on using magic. All right, so that's way better. Okay, and I can't store winds of magic, it looks like. by vicious river trolls 
You've reached the depths of the dungeon to find the final party member, the Wood Elf Way Watcher. She is particularly skilled with a bow, so let loose a few arrows. Warriors that are equipped with ranged weapons can form ranged and melee attacks in the same turn. Select the Elf Way Watcher. Highlights. Enemies highlighted with orange show range targets. Enemies with red show melee targets. Double click on an enemy to fire the elf's bow. Click, clicking and holding any character, item, or enemy, or skill in the digital bring up its journal page. Now select your wizard. Click and hold. Bring up journal entry. Fires three mind razors at an enemy, causing large amount of damage proportional to the battle. Okay. Boy, these guys are buff. You missed. All right, let's put you out there. I'm guessing I probably want to just be attacking guys and not do this, but we'll see. Oh, and he heals. Of course he does, because he's a troll. All heroes die, eventually, inevitably. Method and character determine this land, not the march of time. Looting, indulging, mere distractions from what you crave. An idea above trinkets to, to last forever, a calling, a legend. Yours begins. Alright. Squashing bugs. Every adventurer starts somewhere. Yours begins with the promise of gold from a mad old farmer. He seems to think the local spider populace is amassing an army to rise up and eat his crops, and possibly him as well. You find th your party find themselves standing at the entrance of an abandoned mine. Plow through these arachnids, and we can go collect our reward. Squashing bugs. So, looks like we got a barbarian, a wizard, and a dwarf. So, I guess we'll just move everybody. Shadow daggers. Attack an enemy that attack the targeted adjacent enemy as well as anyone standing to the target's left or right. Each shadow bolt causes a low number of wounds proportional to the battle mages. Small bandages, finger of death scroll. Deals damage. Scroll of Old World Power. Uh, Old World contains words of power. When read, the script will leave the parchment, and a dread hex or boon is enacted. Okay. So it looks like everybody has bandages. Let's. In turn. 
There's only one way to go, so let's put you up here. Alright, so that must mean that there's nobody here to attack us. So we'll move out. Looks like we don't interact with the environment at all. Oh, we've got equipment. So, one to five, chance to block. 10 to 12, ignore toughness, doubles, base attack, slight chance to attack friends over foes. Ooh, no thank you. Doubles damage on enemies of toughness 7 or higher. So what, I got rare items? You just gave them to me or what? Once per dungeon, the wielder may fire a multi-shot, striking their target and other nearby enemies in a line of sight. Attack burns enemies. Decreases spell cost by one. All right. I don't know. I'm a little worried here. I bought the uh, full game, so I hope it didn't just make it like a play-to-win situation where I got these rare items. 12 wounds. Wood elves are deeply suspicious and often overtly hostile to all other races. Such is the distrust they jealously guard the borders of their forest kingdom, keeping the realm's hidden tracks and the secret pass under constant vigil by an elite group of deadly accurate archers and master hunters known as way watchers. Even amongst their own kin, way watchers are known as solitary individuals more at home wandering the forest under the camouflage cowl with a long bow in hand and yet very occasionally a few way watchers will f form a desire be it stirring be it a stirring of their heart or even a personal quest entrusted to them by queen ariel to search beyond the wood elf realm of elthil Lauren and seek out other places and beings that may need their protection. He's an iron breaker. Hammer eye, 14 wounds. Like all doors, iron breakers are bearded, proud, and short, but what they lack in height, they make up for their stocky, muscular build, perfectly suited for swinging large war axes and cleaving through goblin heads in enclosed spaces. They excel at such things as that is the prime duty of an iron breaker. They are armed, armored and trained to guard the lower tunnels and crucial underground entrances of the last surviving dwarf holds. Magnificent ancient underground fortresses that are now remnants of a crumbling empire. When not tasked with such a sacred duty, an iron breaker is a great asset to any brand of adventurers as their experience in combat amidst the close confines of the dungeon passages cannot be matched. And that was a way watcher and a marauder. To the north lies the realm of chaos, and in its shadows are leagues upon leagues of wilderness. Hinterlands are 
that are home to many different tribes of men who worship the ruinous powers. The closest of these fell lands to the emperor empire is Norska. The Norse are fierce by bar barbarians, usually tall and broad in stature, hard-bitten and warlike with a thirst for adventure. The marauders who live in the southern coast of Norska, where the land gouges into the Sea of Claws, are the furthest tribes from the realm of chaos and are and so are said to be the least favored of their gods and the most likely to be seen openly in more civilized lands as a result oh that's interesting i'm surprised that they would adventure with somebody who worships chaos and a gray wizard the eight colleges of magic have been centers of arcane learning for or learning in the emperor for centuries each college also known as the orders specialize in one of eight lores of magic the gray order studies the lore of shadows formed from the wind of ugu it is the magic of concealment illusionary and trick illusion and trickery lending to an air of suspicion around those that practice it, namely the Grey Wizards. This reputation is often a hindrance as much of an, as an ally, for the Grey Wizards are truly an in, in, interin? I don't know that word. It interance? Out of... Out of all the colleges, it is the Grey Wizards who travel the furthest and therefore the most likely to attach themselves into a group of wandering adventurers, even if their agendas are quite different to the Wizards' own. Hmm. Okay. I don't remember if I had to turn, so it doesn't look like there's any real reason not to end a turn oh I see is the wind of magic different each turn oh it is damn can you give me a good all right let's give a six the wizard throws projectiles dealing damage the target chance to hit surrounding fighters for minor wounds proportional to the battle wizard. Is there no way to be able to look healing mist? Heal targeted warrior for one to six wounds. Okay, so he's a healer too. Interesting. Alright. Well, let's move out. Attacked by five giant bats. Let's roll you out here. Attack. Got some gold. You come down here. Attack here. Ah, uh, weak. So you only got one attack. Oh, so the other ones where I was playing must have been strong. Stronger. All right, let's see what you can do. Attack. Good hit. You can do a melee attack as well. Let's do Shadow Bolt. And let's hit this guy. Did one damage. I wonder if I'm supposed to be moving you guys in and use both your attacks. Or if I should just be kind of waiting back. Berserk. Zero attacks pinned. Well, you can attack here, I guess. Oh my gosh. You're really sucking here. Okay. Well, let's heal. And have you tried to attack again? 
good. I guess we're going to have to end turn. Ruby. This item has no use in combat, but can be sold at the market. Okay. And you can't heal. So let's put you over here. Move you guys up. I wonder if I should be, like, just ending turns to try to get my Winds of Magic going, to try to get some heals going, to always bring people to full health. This is a very interesting way to do magic. I don't know, I have kind of mixed feelings about it. Because you're just going to be ending turns waiting before you enter into buildings. I guess as long as there's no turn limits, you know, it doesn't matter, but... And what is this? This is the options. Alright, well, let's come in here. Attacked by six giant bats. Let you shoot. Oh, you missed. Alright, we'll do Storm Bolt. I guess you can attack here. Did one damage. And turn. Berserk, plus one attack. Cool. So let's do Shadow Bolt. Perfect. Let you attack here. Attack again. Alright. Not great. You can attack. Not great. You attack. Oh my gosh. Everybody's missing. It says you have a range, but I don't have any range. Okay, well, let's end turn. Attack. Alright, not going well. Good. Oh, good. So I guess if you kill, you can potentially get another attack. Alright. And turn. I don't quite know what makes you pinned. Stone bread. Takes whole turn, but you get to heal. All right, and turn. Got three winds of magic. All right, got some extra. Now you should be healed up, so let's end turn again. And 
and turn. That's five. Maybe the old farmer wasn't as mad as you previously thought. Calling the spider horde an army might be a stretch, but he was right. There are a lot down here from the looks of this room. It's only going to get worse. Attacked by four giant spiders and five giant rats. Wow, that's a lot. All right, giant rat down. You use your storm bolt. And if you attack here, maybe you can get some splash damage. Excellent. You can come up this way. Try to attack the spider. Excellent. And you can work on the rat. Right, and let's end turn. I've been webbed. I wonder if that shadow... Well, it doesn't matter, because... Good job. Good job. Excellent. Alright, I'm a little curious to know what we can all do here. So let's do range. Let's do melee. Alright, so you're actually a pretty good melee user. And healing magic is four. Alright, healing scrolls. You are victorious. Click to continue. Oh, I see. We get experience this way. Interesting. What is plus three? Squashing bugs. Well done. You've made it out of your first dungeon in one piece, more or less. Now let's go to the nearest settlement, Sig Friedhof, to spend that your hard earn your hard fought earnings. Click on a settlement, then press the travel button on the settlement card to move there. You receive fifty gold. Quest completed. Squashing bugs. Okay, so this must be where the party is. So we can see. Okay. This is my equipment. I see how this works. Oh my gosh, I have all these guys. Interesting. Unlocks at level two. Don't know what any of this is. The troll, Dwarf Troll Slayer. Dwarves are a proud race who do not cope well with failure such as loss of wealth, stature, the inability to uphold a promise or satisfy a grudge. With any of these things come to pass, then there is only one path left for the dwarf. He will shun his armor, dye his hair, and coat it in grease, grab an ancestral axe, and walk into the wilderness in search of death. 
but this cannot be any miserable death. They must seek it by fighting and killing monsters. The larger the creature they can slay, the more they can atone for past shame. Of course, a skilled warrior with such an outlook is bound to be a useful member to any group of adventurers. That's a troll slayer. A warrior priest. Sigmar, the founder of the Empire, was a great warrior, perhaps the greatest to have ever walked the old world. So the religion was that was founded in his stead is a martial one. His clergy are more than orators and chaplains. They are warrior priests capable of cleaving orc heads and besting chaos warriors while singing battle hymns and channeling the might of Sigmar with each swing of their hammer. Whilst many warrior priests attend a temple, there are also a few there are also a few who are encouraged to wander the empire, ministering to its people, slaying the fell creatures that have trespassed onto Sigmar's lands to the and to hunt out sacred relics in the name of the grand, grand theologianist. Thus a party of dungeoning treasure hunters make amenable, if not Theologically ideal companions. An archmage. While men can only see one of the eight, uh, while men can only see one of eight sorcerous winds, their minds inadequate to master more than a single lore. The high elves of Ulthwan can perceive the entire breadth of the magical spectrum. This combined with a lifespan many times that of a human means that high elf. Archmages are undoubtedly some of the more powerful sorcerers in the entire world. There are a myriad of reasons why a powerful archmage would uh, deny to associate with such rough and tumble types of a group of adventurers. They could be in search of lost knowledge of forbidden magical tome, or maybe they are simply trying to learn the ways of the Empire and its citizens, which are often confounding, contradictory, and crude compared to the refined ways of the High Elves. A Bright Wizard One of the eight magical orders of the Empire is the Bright Wizards, the Pyromancers, who are arguably the most feared and by the most uh, by the common denizens. For those who wield the lore of fire are quick to anger and have a, and have fiery temperaments that can run as hot as flame. It is no coincidence that such fiery individuals are drawn to the bright college where fire and fury can be turned into a deadly gamma, uh, gamut of spells. While practitioners of the seven other orders can use their arcane arts in subtle and strange manners. A bright wizard has the repertoire of spells, which are far more direct. Why bother creating illusions to confuse and befuddle when a fireball will deal with a foe in a more instant and lethal way? Such power is held in awe by the emperor's generals, who view the wizards as magical artillery. All well and good on the battlefield, but in a in the dungeon more caution needs to be taken for fire to enclosed spaces are not uh, always a good mix shadow warrior oh he's got kind of the crazy eyes going there long ago the elven race was riven by a bitter civil war their land Ulthuan, was ravaged by the followers of the rich kings those who would become the Dark Elves. This troubled air is known as the Sundering Eschism that blights the High Elves to this very day. The Dark Elves were eventually defeated and exiled across the sea from where they uh, constantly raid, desperate to retake the formal homeland. Common invasion routes travel through the Shadowlands, a blighted realm that still bears the scar of the Sundering. However, the Shadowlands are not unprotected, stood sentinel are the shadow warriors uh tactic turn warrior class who excel at ambush and guerrilla warfare it is said that shadow warriors heart is forever cold chilled by hatred of their former kin these warriors are seen as elites even by the lofty standards of the high elves and are masters of both longbow and blade 
Who is to say why such deadly killers find themselves in the company of strangers exploring the dungeons of the old world? Could they still be stalking the dark elves so far from home? Iron uh, Ogre Iron Gut. Iron Guts are ferocious ogres that wield large double-handed weapons such as giant crudely forged scimitars or even whole trunks of trees in their heavily muscled arms. Along with the tendency to eat anything they come across, their usual role is a bodyguard for a tyrant, and ogre warlords who lead ravaging, rampaging hordes down this, into the civilized lands of the mountains of Morn. Such, prestigious, such a prestigious place in an ogre tyrant's personal retinue brings many benefits, including first pickings of the loot. This inflates the ogre's ego no end. Thus, iron guts may not actually be any stronger skilled than more common ogre bulls, but they simply have superior weapons and an ego to match. It is no mystery why a band of warriors would want an ogre in their party. Aside from the difficulty of mingling in a local tavern, an ogre is a formidable foe to any monster encountered in a dungeon. Their merchant child nature also ensures a certain amount of loyalty to the group as long as they get a sizable share of the loot. Witch Hunter Heresy and the practice of unsanctioned wizardry are rife within the Empire, but those who dare employ fell sorcery or consort with the dark gods must answer to the witch hunters. To say a witch hunter is a stern individual is not fully comprehended until, true, until the true unyielding nature hidden be, behind their cold judging eyes. Even the innocent should rightly fear their gaze, for chaos can hide behind even the most gentle of hearts. To combat such evil, a witch hunter is armed with a deadly and exotic weaponry from Filials of Fatir Flyles? Uh, holy testaments and protective charms to weapons of more practical application, such as a sword and pistol. On the face of it, it may seem strange that the warrior with such puritanical beliefs would ally themselves to the fortune seekers dwelling in the dark, but it is into the darkness that the witch hunters wish to trend, as the greatest evils and foulest heresies lie in wait hidden within the dungeons of the old world. Okay, so I guess those are the potential characters you can have in your party, I'm guessing. Alright, and these are just equipment that you have. I guess you can have the healing. Oh, I see how this works. Alright, what else do we got? We got quest, region travel. That's where I just was. Your map. The map will navigate your warriors around the Warhammer world. Each settlement will have a quest associated with it, which appears as a red dungeon marker. White dungeon markers denote other types of quests. Completing these will open up new settlements to explore. When your party has completed all the red dungeons in the region, a black dungeon will appear. These are incredibly hard, so make sure you prepare for, for tackling one. Okay. All right. Well, let's call it quits here for today. A little bit of a slower episode, but just learning about how the game mechanics work. Thanks for watching, and I'll continue to upload these videos. If you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.